All right, there she is. Because of how well it flowed, because this oh, dude, this is straight out, dude. I don't know because they went, they went straight, they went straight pipe all the way through. You didn't. You went into the muffler. This is straight pipe all the way through. Not really. You're not, you're not gonna, um, you're not gonna lose anything by H piping. Even when this is open, yeah. some still goes in there. It goes in there, but it's not blocking pressure though. I don't. Think. Flexible with your schedule? Yeah. Um, they have a big ass shop. Okay. They'll be gone. Well, we will be gone Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday racing next week, but be back Monday. So either if you get the car there before Thursday, but they probably won't get touched till that following Monday. Okay, so we'll probably try to shoot for that, get it there before Thursday. Okay. That way you can, um, whatever you gotta do. To with the ECU before they yeah, exactly. Whatever you on the dyno probably won't be till that following Monday. Also, you okay. guys have like the badass dyno. Oh, yeah. How many, dyno? how many dyno days do you think? Just one? Probably, probably, probably two. Probably. Two? Okay. Because uh, it's a lot of shit. A lot of it's gonna be like the cold start, drivability, and all that. Yeah. Like the power pulls, that's easy. Yeah. But it's making sure the car drives good. It's yeah. So we gotta do a lot of street tuning too. No, no. dyno's good. Yeah, that dyno's mainline good. dyno is is legit. Yeah. Okay. You could you could put it to all kind of scenarios, all kind of loads. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, you got that that kind of dyno. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. I know is this power pull. That's it. Yeah. No, that. And uh, you drive in the street like, oh, it's lurching. Yeah. No. Yeah. That that the. We got the main line from Australia. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's all is that the one where the wheels are on, do, or does it hook up to the, the hub? hub? yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. But it's not a dyno jet. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's awesome. awesome. It does weather correction, it does all that. Like, wow.
Yeah, you're pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Shit, my bad. You're good. I was telling him, I was like, dude, he's been racing for some sick shit. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm the one that drives the silver GTR for ETS oh, and stuff. Sure, nice. And then I uh, used to do the tuning on it, and then the owner does it now, but not really. Yeah. Way. So, so, for some reason, I like driving the truck around and then <laughs> picking up a customer GTR. You know, if That's we awesome. deliver a car, then I can kind of get people to run down on how everything works and all that. Kind That's of pretty stuff. cool. So, yeah. Nice and We do a lot of fabrication. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah. We have a full time fab guy, but most of our we do some cages here and there, but yeah, yeah. ETS obviously does Most all the turbo. Time. Well, they have pre production pieces, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So, we need a custom one off stuff. We have one guy that does fast. One off stuff is just super yeah. time consuming. It is. It is. And then people don't realize it. No, it's like they want it yesterday, they want it cheap. It's like my whole shop manager, you'll have my whole shop manager. I just took out the GTR, one of these intakes, and he had a dry sump, air conditioning, the power yeah. steering. And, so it took my guy like 11 hours to build the intake show into the bumper yeah. and he 50 bucks an hour for this employee. Yeah. Yeah. Another GTR came with the same thing and he did it again, you know, in three and a half hours. Yeah. You know, just because the first time. Yeah. It was a lot easier. Yeah. 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 